Hi, Kate Whelan coming to you from my heart. I wanted to jump in and make a video on my YouTube channel today because I have not done one for a very long time. It is wonderful to see you. Well, I'm not seeing you, but you're seeing me. And it's the same thing. So welcome. Let's breathe in through our nose and out. <sighs> So great to be here again and I felt inspired to make a video today because you know there's a lot of stuff going on in the world and I've actually just been outside in my garden working on moving some little um, plants so I've been growing I've been sprouting from seeds um, some cucumber plants and I can't remember what the other one is but I will find out once it blooms um, and I was moving them from these little pots into the actual garden bed and a spider jumped out and I've seen the spider before and I just sat down here at my table and another little spider was here and I was like, okay, I can freak out or I can try and figure out what is the, the message from the spider today. And I Googled the spiritual meaning of spiders because I always love to do that. And... So the message today is around your inner artist. So when spiders pop up, they, um, they represent feminine energy. They've been inhabiting the planet for apparently 300 million years. This is according to Dr. Google. So hmm, <laughs> don't take my word for it, but they have been around a long time. Love them or hate them, fear them or love them. They're here, they've been here and they're here to stay. This is a fantastic time to start tuning in and creating, creating art, creating music, painting, drawing, singing, moving, dancing. What else can I think of? Scrapbooking, uh, crafting, like whatever your thing is, whatever you know that you are really good at or even if it's just something that you're super interested in to do with arts and crafts and, and creative expression, that is what you're meant to be doing right now. We spend so much time consuming. What does that mean? It means we spend a lot of time taking in information, looking at TV shows, looking at video games, looking at YouTube channels. <laughs> listening to the radio, listening to someone speaking, listening to our own thoughts running around. And the difference between consu consuming, excuse me, and creating is the consuming is the input and the creating is the output. Now is the time to really balance up the input and the output. We take in so much. It's really important that we start to do the output. We start to do the creation. Otherwise, we're just kind of here consuming all the time. And that can be quite draining, depending on what you're consuming as well. Um, so artistry. Okay. It's also a really important time to stay patient. I know that a lot of people are in lockdown. I know that a lot of people are going through really hard times. Breathe in. <sighs> Breathe out. Always remember your power centers, all right? Remember your breath. Remember your heart. And remember your voice. Okay, it's really important that you start voicing whatever's going on for you having conversations and communication with people, people that you can trust. That's number one. And number two, the patience. I know this is not fun. I know it's not great. Tune into your creation, your ability to create from nothing. Check out some of my other videos if you're interested in ideas for drawing or painting or making up songs. I often make up songs sometimes about 
fruit and veggies, sometimes just about whatever. Um, everything's going to be okay. You're going to be okay. And one of the best things that we can do is create, write a story, illustrate it, print a front cover, decorate it, read it to somebody, make a video about it, share it with the world. You have amazing powers within you, skills, talents, gifts, all the things, okay? So get cracking. I love you. Have an amazing day.